Sorry. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, so I've got my star solution. So um, in the 10% star solution, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to show you what an indicator can do. So we're looking at just clean starch, all unadulterated. It's white. It's, it's dissolved in water. I'm just going to pour a little bit of it just into the Petri dish. This is iodine. Iodine is just a straight element. This one's dissolved in alcohol and then uh, diluted with a little bit of water. When you have iodine and you have starch coming together, the white starch turns black or kind of bluish black. So it change color. It's very rapid in very indicating a color change. That makes iodine an indicator of starch. So anytime you have a starch or you have a, a sample and you want to see if it does have starch, put a drop of iodine on it, it will turn blue and black. All right, starch happens to be the macromolecule, which is why we're doing this. So that's the important part. Here's the actual experiment, though. All right, that was just a demonstration. That's just to see that it's an indicator. This is my iodine diluted in some water. So you can start see the starting color. What would we, how do we classify this? Red. Yeah, orangey red, maybe. Maybe brown. even a slight brown tinge to it. I don't know. Like I mean, they're tea. slightly different because they're they're uh, different concentrations. We're going to use the darker one for right now. Okay. We're going to take a plastic bag, and our plastic bag is going to represent the plasma or cell membrane in this. This is our cell. Okay. Into our cell, we're going to pour some of the starch. And since it's the end of the day, use just about all of it. It's easier to clean if I don't do it all. All right. Seal this up. Get as much air out of there as we can. Leaking. Is it? Yep. Or did I just squeeze it over the top? Yeah, no, it's oh, leaking. It's got a hole in it. That's not going to work. All right. I need to grab another bag. Sorry. That's for the janitor's floor, right? So let's see if this bag, good thing I didn't use it all, huh? Yeah. All right. So we can get all the air out. That's funny because the first, this is the last period of the day and I've done this experiment six times and none of the other bags have holes in them, but that one did. All right, let's make sure this one's not leaking because that's important to the experiment. We can't stop, we have to stop if it's leaking. So this one okay? Looks all right? Yeah. Sealed up? Good? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put this into the iodine solution. Now, what's it? How's that going to do anything? Well, that's the question. What do you think is going to happen? Nothing's going to. The bag will open up and a dinosaur will pop out. That is a flawed hypothesis. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? They are Maybe it'll be a little dinosaur. The bag will Okay, so there's a there's a reasonable hypothesis. If we if we believe this to be a hypotonic solution, we could say that the bag goes in there and it's going to fill up until such a point as that it pops. So we could if it's a hypotonic solution. What if it's not hypotonic? It'll just do nothing. There, it's possible that we'll have no response at all. Any other hypotheses without dinosaurs? All right, so maybe it'll rupture and explode. I'd be mad. Any other hypotheses? It could shrivel up. If this was hypertonic, it could shrivel up. If it was in a hypertonic solution, we could shrivel this one up. It could change color. What color could it change? Any color in the rainbow. Purple. Black. Purpley black. That would be the logical one since I just showed you the demonstration where it actually turns. This looks black? No. This here? Yeah, this right oh. here. This but here, in person, it, yeah. or oh, against I, could, I couldn't really see it. I didn't see, see it. how it's kind of orangey? Yeah. Okay. Is that, is that better? Yep. All right. 
So let's go ahead. We're going to take about five or ten minutes for this to actually do anything, whatever it may or may not do. It's going to take a while to do so. So it's going to do so something. Something will happen. I will tell you that. There's no reason to do an experiment demonstration without. So in the meantime, we can stop.